Hey everyone, this is AW Pigs Jotica with yet another amazing video for you guys. It's getting pretty cold. The month of December, it's pretty hard on the hands. The Christmas is near. You know, today we're going to talk about the Aperture MC RGB WW light. This is a review about this light. Uh, what an amazing piece of uh, engineering this is. If you guys are new to the channel, do leave a like, do subscribe and turn on those bell notification icons if you haven't done so already. This community is going really, really large day by day. Coming up. All right, talking about the box. This is the box itself. As you open the box, you know, first thing you see is the RGB light, which is right here. I'm gonna put it aside for a while. Now inside the box, you get this nice carrying bag. It's right in my hand over here. Put it aside for a while. And you know, I've got a Celica stored away. Instruction manuals. That's about it for the box. Inside this carrying case right over here in my hand, let's open it, what's inside it. Open the zip and you know. This is the silicon diffuser, if I'm not wrong. And the light, you know, goes in here and diffuses the light. Pretty nice and handy addition that the company has made over here. All right, let's open the other zipper and see what's inside it. All right, you got a few stick-ons, stick your light any, on any surface you like, skip. Nice, a USB Type-C cable right here for the charging of this light. Though I've been told that this light is also wirelessly charged. That was about it for what's inside the box. Let's get into the detailed review. All right, now talking about this uh, light right in my hand, it's pretty neatly designed. The belt quality is amazing. It's beautiful, you know, brushed texture right now around the corner. This light I'm told is around 130 grams and literally fits in the palm of your hand right here. See how small this little piece is. Amazing. All right, uh, up top front, you got the LEDs right at the front side. Once you turn the light backwards, you got the MC branding or the logo going on around here. You see two magnets right here. You know, you can place this light and stick it to any magnetic surface uh, if available inside your home. This is a pretty handy addition that they have made. If you go to the bottom, you got this, you got this position right here. Where you can attach your tripod. You got vents on the two sides. If you go on the side, you got uh, the heat vents to let the heat out. On the top, you got this, uh, you know, nice, you got this nice OLED screen right here. Here, which allows you to get to know what's going on with your light anytime. Coming over to the side now, this uh, right here is the USB Type-C connector, which is uh, for, of course, for the charging of this thing. You got an on-off switch right here, switch it on, switch it off. You got the scroll dial, which is uh, right here, if you can see. This is a scroll dial. Now through this dial, you can manually control every damn setting on the light. All right. Now this light comes with three basic modes. The first one this is the CCT, which is basically the white light. And it allows you to control the white light, its intensity, you can increase the intensity, and also the color from 3200Ks to 6500Ks right here. You can, you know, toggle between the color range that is given in this light. It's pretty accurate, the CRI rating over here is 96 plus. The other mode uh, that uh, Aperture is offering is the HSI, which is hue, saturation, saturation and intensity. With the HSI mode, you are pretty much able to control all the colors that are available in the RGB band. And you can control their saturation, their intensity. This is a wonderful addition uh, that Aperture has given in this light. Uh, you can control all these features through the Silas Link app. Now, the most interesting part, the most interesting thing about this light is that you can connect this light uh, with the Silas Link app inside your Android or your uh, Apple smartphones and control the light remotely from there. You don't need to joggle, toggle through the physical controls right here on the light. All right, the next mode that uh, Aperture is offering on this light right over here in my hand is the effects mode. It has nine built-in effects inside this light. The ones, you know, that I liked is the cop car, which is right now playing over here. You got fire, <laughs> you got pulsing, you got party, you got lightning effect. 
you know, you can include these uh, inside the B-roll shots that you're taking to make it look more interesting. So I really love the features that are available on this slide, especially the FX mode. I made a small B-roll for you guys to see how I use these effects to generate interest in the shot sequence that I made for you guys. Watch that. It was cold that night, sitting by the fireplace alone. I had nothing much to do. The rumbling clouds and the sound of thunder suddenly got my hairs on the back of my neck to stand. I tried to watch TV to get my mind to ease out of bed. It suddenly heard gunshots outside. And I realized hey, it was him. You me a card for a parking problem. Now, the Sidus Link app that I was talking about earlier when I was discussing colors and a few other things is the app inside your iPhone, which is available for iPhone and Android. Uh, through that app, you can control this light, uh, you know, remotely. Uh, without getting involved in the physical controls that are available here on the light system. This is a wonderful addition. You can practically control all the available HSI, you know, color range that are, that is going to be displayed on this, right? That this light is going to project outside. You can control the white light, the CCT, all the modes. You know, the best thing about it is you can connect multiple lights through the Cytus Link app at a range of 400 meters. 400 meters can you imagine that provided each light is placed at least 80 meters apart now that's a big mesh a big network that you can make through the cider sling app another cool feature that has been introduced by approach to their app is the color picker you just pick your smartphone up point at any color select that color and the light is going to generate that color for you an amazing feature that they've included in this tiny little thing right here in my hand another wonderful thing a wonderful addition or a feature that aperture has added to this light is the ability of this light to charge wirelessly so you can pretty much do away with the cable throw it outside i'm not saying that you should throw the cable outside uh, all i'm saying is that this light is compatible with the key charging protocols uh, a good compatible wireless charging system is going to charge this light and get you to do away with the hassle of uh, you know the wires and cables so the wireless charging feature is a pretty amazing field they've come up with has a Porsche actually left anything out? <laughs> no, I don't think so. They have everything. This is wirelessly controlled. It has a full HSI color range. There is a mesh networking system that you get. The color accuracy is amazing. Sierra 96 plus. You know, this can be, this is handy. This is portable, you know, approximately the size of your credit card. This is lightweight. It can be tucked inside your pocket. You can do a lot with this light. And plus you have the flexibility of controlling the light physically through these controls or the Cyrus Link app. You have the color picker, you have this is actually the Swiss Army knife of the light world. It has everything in it. <laughs> tiny piece of structure, tiny piece of engineering in my hand and they have put everything inside this light. So I really, really recommend you guys if you are looking towards your next RGB or of the, your first RGB light, the small light for your you know videos, I would highly recommend the Aperture MC RGB WW right here in my hand. So that was the Aperture MC, the review that I bought for you guys. Hope this video is gonna help you make the right and correct decision in choosing your next light. This is AW Pixotica signing off for now. Hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, hit the bell notification icons, support this channel, please. Bye bye.